Britney Spears claims that she had no clue that her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, left his pregnant girlfriend, Char Jackson, to be with her. However, Char Jackson is saying that Britney is not completely truthful about the situation. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. In this video, I want to revisit the whole drama between Britney Spears, Kevin Federline, and the actress Shar Jackson. Now recently, Britney dropped her tell-all memoir called The Woman in Me, and there were a lot of bombshells she revealed in this book. I mean, it was a lot to unpack, but one of the stories I found interesting was the story involving her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, and the actress Shar Jackson. Before Kevin got with Britney, he was actually with Shar. They had a whole family together and she was around six months pregnant with their second child, but Kevin cheated on her with Britney Spears. Now in Britney's book, she claimed that she had no idea that Kevin had a baby on the way. Well, Shar is claiming that Britney is not telling the truth about that. She was aware. Now, just to give a backstory, Shar Jackson is an actress and she's most known for her role as Nisi in the hit sitcom Moesha. And one day, Shar ended up meeting Kevin Federline in a dance class. Kevin was a backup dancer and he worked with stars like Michael Jackson and Justin Timberlake, etc. And he and Shar met and they quickly fell for each other. At the time, Shar had two children from a previous relationship, but Kevin embraced those children as his own and he ended up having two more children with Shar, which included their daughter, Corey, and their son, Caleb. Now, when Shar was pregnant with their second child, Caleb, she found out that Kevin was creeping around with Britney Spears. When I found out that Kevin was with Britney, I was at home. You know, six and a half months pregnant. Got some phone call with him being very strange on the phone. And then he told me that he uh, that he hung out with somebody that week. Who, who, who were you with? He said, Brittany. And I hung up the phone. They met on a Monday at a club. That Friday, I think, is when when they went to the beach with all those the infamous beach pictures. So I found out, you know, right after that. I had no idea that anything was even wrong. I thought he was out auditioning. He came home and then there was some good news because he booked the commercial that he auditioned for. So he was going to Japan. Instead of going to Japan, he went to Europe to be with Britney. The, one of the hardest things through the whole breakup was being seven months, eight months pregnant and seeing pictures of, of the, the person that I love making out on hotel balconies. And it was bad. It was everywhere. Couldn't watch TV, couldn't turn on the radio, couldn't read a magazine, you know. For them, it's all entertainment, but it's my life. I was forced to live out one of the most painful experiences of my life in the public eye. Britney and Kevin Federline's relationship blew up everywhere. It blew up all over the media, all over TV, all over the magazines. And it was hard for Shar Jackson to deal with it because she was no longer able to live her life privately anymore either. On top of that, Shar was dealing with the heartbreak of losing her man while she was pregnant. So it was a lot. Now, in Britney's book, she said she was clueless about the fact that Shar was pregnant at the time. She said, Kevin had a bad boy image. Still, I had no idea when we met he had a toddler, nor that his ex-girlfriend was eight months pregnant with his second baby. I was clueless. I was living in a bubble and I didn't have a lot of good close friends to confide in to get advice from. I had no idea until we'd been together for a while and someone told me, you know he has a new baby, right? Britney said when a friend eventually told her about Char's pregnancy, she confronted Kevin and said, you have kids, you have children, not only one child, but two children. Now, this was very interesting that Britney wrote this because she wasn't completely blindsided the way she made it seem. 
she didn't just find out that he had two children. No, she knew that Char was already pregnant with Kevin's second child. In fact, she actually waited outside of the hospital while Char and Kevin's baby was being born. And this was the information that Char actually told the Daily Mail. So Brittany wasn't completely clueless about the situation. Now, it is very possible that Brittany didn't know about Char when she first met Kevin, but she did know soon after the fact, and she still decided to proceed with the relationship. And Brittany was young at the time, and she was also a superstar who was used to being shielded from reality and being surrounded by users. So it didn't really dawn on her that it was a huge red flag to be with a man who just left his pregnant girlfriend. Also, it didn't dawn on her that Kevin was indeed an opportunist because Kevin left Char for Britney because of who Britney was. Britney was a superstar. She was the princess of pop. Obviously, Kevin saw the opportunity in being with somebody so famous. He wanted some of that fame for himself and he was tired of being a backup dancer. He wanted to actually be a rapper. He liked the limelight and being with Britney Spears was obviously a come up for him in a sense because it would get him access to a certain lifestyle and it will also give him a certain amount of exposure. So he kind of saw Britney as an easy lick and three months after they dated, they got married. So it didn't take them long to tie the knot at all. And then Kevin went on to have two more children with Britney but their marriage didn't last long at all. It only lasted for two years and they did separate in 2006 and Brittany ended up having to pay Kevin a settlement. Not only that, as years went on and Brittany's mental health started to deteriorate, Kevin actually got full custody of their two children and she had to pay him child support. So Kevin got an easy lick. I'm telling you, he is one of the first city boys, okay? And I will say it is unfortunate for Brittany because she was taken advantage of, but at the same time, she did ignore a lot of red flags and she wasn't completely the victim in this particular situation. She knew Kevin had a baby on the way, but she didn't care. So she's not innocent in the situation. She's not the victim. Ultimately, the blame does fall on Kevin though, because he decided to leave his family in the dust to run behind Brittany and chase after fame. I would say the only victims in this situation was obviously Char and her children. And Char had to suffer a lot and her suffering came even more so from the media coverage. It got so bad to the point that her children were being affected. Their privacy was being invaded. And that was incredibly difficult for Char and her family to deal with. Char's cousin, Cherry Johnson, who's also another actress, talked about the time she went into the store with Char's daughter, Corey, and how her daughter was being harassed by a stranger because she was plastered on the magazines. So I went and got two gallons of milk. We just ran in the store right quick, me and Corey. And somebody said, hi, Corey. So I turned around and I snatched her. And I was like, how do you know my child's name? Yeah. And she said, she's on the magazine right there. Literally on the cover of the magazine right there in the aisle. And, and they were on the cover of tabloid magazines with Brittany, the kids eventually. The, the baby, Corey, was on the mm. cover of a magazine. And we're not going to talk about that. That's not a happy subject. So we're Because not it made you so angry? Yeah. That's when I start. That's when the anger See, when you actually kids kicked get in. It was everywhere. I mean, I couldn't turn on a TV, couldn't pick up a magazine, sometimes didn't want to go outside. It was the worst thing right there, reading all the made up stories. But my daughter, my oldest daughter, Cassie would come home from school just in tears. You know, oh God, I'm really gonna cry. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. And what would she say? She'd come home in tears. Everybody wanted to know. Mm. Mommy, why did, you know, why did Kevin do this? Why this? Why that? And, you know, people were teasing me because that is the only part that just killed me. The harassment that Char's children were getting was definitely the most difficult part about the whole situation with Brittany and Kevin Federline. But Char also dealt with the heartbreak. She dealt with the pain and it affected her for a while. I think that the day that my mom and, um, 
my stepdad, Kevin, broke up was the day that a really big and important part of my mom died. Um, we like lost our house and she went from being just a loving, caring spirit, not wanting to go anywhere, do anything. All of it affected me pretty negatively. And it was like my whole family's ruined. I mean, it's so many things, you know, like my daughter said to me, well, mommy, how come you don't have anybody to kiss like daddy does? My hand is like, I don't know, because I'm a loser at it. <laughs> yeah. When Kevin and I broke up, I had to pick up all the pieces. You know, uh, daddy got to visit and everything was happy because daddy's here. Yeah. But he didn't have to explain to them. That was all me. Are you still hurting? Sometimes. I want somebody to come into my life and not talk about all the crap that they've read or they think. What are you afraid they're going to say to you? They're going to bring up the same thing everybody else brings up every time they meet me, every time they talk to me. How's Kevin? How's Brittany? I understand. I know I've caused you a lot of pain and I I've been really selfish. I guess I got so wrapped up in all this other that I never really sat back and had a chance to apologize to you. I really do want you to know that I, I am sorry. Even though Shar dealt with the heartbreak and the harassment from the media, she still handled the situation with grace. She made sure that Kevin stayed present in their children's lives, and she also did not hold any contempt or hard feelings for Britney Spears. I was okay that the relationship ended, but the family breaking up something painful, incredible. And honestly, I didn't let it happen. Now, in the beginning, it was rough because he was overseas. But now that, you know, when he came back home, I told him, I said, you know, Kevin, I'm not going to let you be. An absentee. A convenient father. And you've even had Brittany involved in their lives. You're not excluding her? No, I mean, she's, you know, she's she's part of, of their extended family now. Yeah. We're cool. We don't, yeah. have, we don't have any problems, no animosity, um, anything like yeah. that. Yeah. We're fine. But, but it hurts like, you that he had. It hurts you that he had a child with her. It did hurt, but actually, I kind of knew it was going to happen. It's nobody's fault. It was what's supposed. What was supposed to happen? It's that simple. I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not perfect. You know, I leave the judging to one person, and I don't do it. I'm just here to get past it and go on with my life. My life hasn't stopped because Kevin left. The whole saga with Kevin Federline, Shar Jackson, and Britney Spears is old news, and Shar has definitely moved on. But I did want to revisit this story because it was addressed in Britney's book, and Shar basically clarified what really happened. So I thought that was interesting. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.